Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to this video, guys. My name is Jakut Zaman, and we're going through Surah Al Qasas. Right, so, wa asbaha al ladina. So, asbaha, this, you guys should know what this means, came before in the Surah. Tamanna, tamanna, ya tamanna, tamanniyan. Okay, it means from meme, noon, ya, um, and it means to wish. Makanahu, makan is from meme kaf noon, it means a place, something that's firm. Ams means yesterday. Yakulun, you should know that. Uh, okay, wake anna. This is a word I'm going to explain to you guys the five different methods about this word, but the one that we're going to take here is way means amazing. Right, so you know, like you say, wow. Right, so that's like way, it's a fair, or some use the word wake anna. But like I said, I am going to explain the difference of opinion regarding this word. Yabsutu basata yabsutu, it means to spread, to roll out, spread. Ba seen ta. And then you have qadara yaqdiru, right, which means to restrict, to make something constricted. Khasafa, you guys should know that came last time. Aflaha yuflihu, it means to be successful. Um, fa lam ha and kafirun is kafirun. Okay, tarkib. Asbaha is fail. Alladina is Mosul. Tamanno is fail plus the fa'il, which is them. Tamanno them. Right. So Makanahu Mudaf and who is the Mudaf Ilayhi? Mudaf plus the Mudaf Ilayhi becomes the Maf'ul Bihi. Um B is Jar al Ams is Majrur. Jar Majru is Mutalik to Tamanno or it can be to Makanahu through Athabit bil ams. Yeah. So I'm not right that thabit, right? But you guys understand. So either it's to tamanna bil ams or it's makanahu bil ams. Right. So they wished it yesterday or the place that was yesterday. Yaquluna uh, they say so fi'l plus the fa'il. Way ka'anna. Now this way, this we're gonna take it as what Siba Wei and Khalid and others said, which is that this is an ism fi'l way, which has the meaning of ta'ajjub or tanaddum or nadama. Ka'anna is jar and kaf is jar and anna is majroor, right? So uh, we'll talk that in a bit. The word Allah is the ism of anna. Yabsutu is fi'l. Now some people have said ka'anna is all one word, but we're just going to stick to anna. Yabsutu is fi'l fa'il. Ar-rizq is the maf'ul bihi. And then, you know, all of that is going to become Jumla Fi'liya Khabariya. That's going to become Ma'atuf Alayhi as well. Tamanno, all of this is Jumla Fi'liya Khabariya as well. Tamanno Makanahu Bil Amsi. Right? And uh, all of that is going to be the Sila of Alladina. Alladina plus the Sila is going to become the Fa'il, or Ism rather, of Asbaha. Asbaha Alladina. Okay, so Alladina Makanahu Bil Ams. Right, all of that. Li is Jar. And then Man. Is majroor or mosul at the moment? Yasha is the fi'l plus the fa'il. I mean, it goes back to Allah. Min is jar and ibadihi is mudaf mudaf ilayhi becomes the majroor of min. And then all of this min, jar, and majroor is actually going to be considered to be a hal. Right? We're going to consider min ibadihi to be the hal. And then the zul hal would obviously be the man. The, you know, going back to the the the, the man, that's the Zulhal. Right. So, and then you've got wow over here, which is ataf and yaqdir is the fi'l plus the fa'il, which is a jumla fi'li khabari in itself. That becomes ma'tuf onto yabsutu. So yabsutu is the ma'tuf alayhi, and then yaqdiru is the ma'tuf. So ma'tuf plus the ma'tuf alayhi all put together is going to become the khabar of anna. Right, it's the ultimate. Okay, so yashaw is the sila, man is the mausul, and majroor, and jara majroor here is muta'allik to yabsutu. Yabsutu liman yasha. Yeah, wa yaqdiru liman yasha. Okay, um, now all of this ma'tuf alayhi plus the ma'tuf put together is going to become the khabar of anna. Right, so over there lines a bit bent, but you get the point. Um, and all of this now is actually going to become the, you know, ka'anna, jar majroor is muta'alik to way. Way is an ism, fi'l, so muta'alik to that. 
All right, so all of this then uh, is going to become the maqula of yaquluna. Okay, min ibadihi is a hal. I just just to highlight some little parts here, um, and then you got wa ka anna Allah yabsutu rizqa liman yasha wa yaqdir. All of that, right? Might as well to the end. Lola amanna Allahu alayna la khasafa bina wa ka anna hu la yuflihu kafir. All of that is going to be the maqula. This is what they are saying, their statement. So maqulas are all, as you know, maful bi. All right. Um. So that's the. Yaquluna. Now, if you if you take Yaquluna, all of that now, Yaquluna plus the Makula is going to become the Khabar of Asbaha. That's if you take Asbaha to be a Fi'al Naqis, right? Like Kana wa Khawatuha. But if you take it to be a Fi'al Tam, that's something I'll show you a bit later. Right? So if you remember, the, the variations in the I'rab and Tarkib will give you a slightly different translation. And that's something very important to be aware of. Uh, right, so lawla is what we call shart, harf shart imtina' imtina'i. Right, it means if this had happened, this would have happened. Yeah, if this had not happened, this would not have happened. So an is mastariya, manna is fi'l madi, manna ya munnu, mim nun nun. Right, uh, manna Allahu alayna. Okay, so actually, I didn't explain this word, did I? Mm. But anyway, I think you got the, you got the hint of it. So manna um, yamunnu, it means that to be show kindness and care, uh, to feel sorry for something. Okay, so the word Allah is the fa'il over here of manna. Alayna is going to be the jar majroor, and then all of that is going to be bitawili master mubtada. Right, so all that mutal to manna. See that half arrow there, half arrow there. Now an manna Allah an mustariya is going to give. Rise to a, all that becoming a mubtada, what we call mubtada mu'awwal, the ta'wil of mubtada. Right, so, and then the khabar in these sentences, lawla sentence, whenever you get lawla, lawla an ashuqa la ummati, you always have the khabar hidden, it has to be hidden. And the khabar is going to be mo, the word mawjood. Right? The khabar is going to be the word mawjood. So always remember this, whenever you have lawla sentences, lawla an ashuqa ummati, lawla kada, you know. Lakana kada. La khasafa. Lam is going to be the ta'kid. Right, so you got lam ta'kid. Khasafa is the fi'l, madin. Um, and, and the huwa, huwa is the, the word Allah goes back to. Bina is jar majroor muta'alik to khasafa. Right, all that becomes a jumla fi'liya khabariya. And that becomes the ultimate jawab of the shart. So the shart is law la ammanna Allah alayna and the jawab is jumla fi'liya khabariya la khasafa bina and that, that's what you have there shart and jawab so these this is a tricky one I think a lot of students if you guys if you guys generally get stuck with these kind of tarkeebs put in the comments because I remember when I was studying and even now I get some tarkeebs I get stuck on law la used to be a very common one there are a few which you kind of know the translation too, but you find it difficult. How do you work the tarkiba? How do you work out the arab of it? That's something which I try to uh, focus on in these uh, in these lessons. I want you guys to be able to understand the tarkib, go through it. If you get, don't be afraid of getting stuck. If you're getting stuck, it's okay. Carry on, do as much as you can, and whatever you get stuck on, make a note of it, like the low la ones or wake and no ones. Okay, uh, so wake and nahu la yuflihul kafirun. So again, way is going to be, we're going to say it's ism fi'l. Kaf is harf jar. Anna is going to be the harf mushabab fi'l. And who, here, who is actually what we call damir al sha'an. Damir al sha'an. Yeah, so all that is damir al sha'an. And then, la yuflihu al kafirun. La yuflihu al kafirun fi'l. Plus the fa'il. And all of this is explaining the damir al sha'an. It's like the, Bayan of the Damir al Shan. Okay, so that's Jumla Fi'liya Khabriya. Okay, so um, so that's done basically now. Let's look at some, uh, I think, Mahal. Should look at the Mahal of. Mahal of sentences. Put in the comments if you think you've got the, you've got the idea of the Mahal of the sentences. Right, uh, so Asbaha, this, if you make it a Fi'al Tam, then Alladhi Natamanna wa Makanahu bil Amsi becomes the Fa'il. And if that becomes the Fa'il, what do we do with Yaquluna? So in this case, we're going to make yaquluna and everything that comes after it, we're going to make it into a hal. 
right? So the translation there would obviously be affected, and we'll have a look at that when we're translating it, right? So that's the two ways that you can translate asbaha over here, either fail tam or fail naqis, right? Um, okay, uh, is there anything else over here? I'm just trying to see. Okay, right. So mahal la mahal asbaha la mahal min arab yaquluna. If you make it into the khabar of asbaha, then it becomes nasab, or if you make it hal, it becomes nasab as well. So mansub. And then, you know, yabsutu is going to be rafa because it's the khabar of anna. And then, you know, yasha'u is la mahalla yaqdiru, and the same as yabsutu. Manna Allahu, this is rafa because it's mubtada. Khasafa bina, la yuflihu al kafirun. Okay, now. Over here, I want to point out to you guys this this way ka'anna, right? Way ka'anna. So there's five madhabs that the Mufassirin have mentioned regarding this like sort of um, strange composition of words. Now there must be some wisdom behind this that we we haven't really why Allah has chosen this here. Maybe you know sometimes what happens is the Quran reflects the way that a word was actually pronounced in the time of that particular story. So this is the story of uh, Musa Islam and Bani Israel. So maybe Bani Israel, this was like in their like dialect, in their language. This was a word that was, and Allah wanted to reflect that. Maybe that's the case. I don't, I've seen that uh, being proven in Surah Yusuf. But here, this would obviously have to be proven. So what are the positions then? So the first position is that way ka'anna is actually made up of way, kaf, and anna. Right, so way, that's the first one. The second one is the same, is that it's made up of way, kaf, and the only difference between the two is the first one says that the kaf is what we call ta'lil, the cause, because, and the second group say no, it's actually uh, tashbih with the meaning of yaqeen. Yeah, so comparison like ka, zaydun kal asad, right, ka, tashbih. So that's the difference between the two. Uh, the third position is that wake is actually a word itself, wake, you, know, you wake up in the morning. So some say that it's actually wake and anna is separate, wake. And what is wake? Wake is, the kaf is kaf khitab, like you know you get in thalika, thalika, right? The kaf is khitab, isn't it? Thalikum, yeah, thaliki. So that kaf is khitab, the asal is the tha. So here it's like the way and the kaf is khitab. So it's not the uh, Way. So it's like saying way. Anna Allaha, whoa, amazing. Anna Allaha, yabsutu rizqa liman yasha. The fourth one is that this is actually a contracted form of wail, wailaka. Yeah, wailuka or wailaka. Yeah, so if that's the case, then then the lamb has been rocked and you're left awake. And they found examples of classical poetry which actually um, use this as well. And the fifth one is. Uh, anna it's all one word, yeah, it's all one word. Wake anna, it's actually all one word. So what do these mean then? So wake anna means, uh, don't you see, right? Wake anna, alam tara, don't you see? Wake is woe to you, obviously. Wake would obviously be, you know, no, like no. This this is how 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 it's kind of like you. You, know, you should know this. You should be amazed. Uh, and the other ones, I've explained those. So these are the five positions that are held by Mufassirin and grammarians. This is like a very, very, uh, sort of like classically, historically famous de debate or discussions that the grammarians have regarding this, this, this word. And this actually shows you the honesty of the scholars on this, because the scholars have actually understood the grammar from the original sources, namely the Quran and classical poetry. And it was actually because of the Quran that scholars thought they need to understand their own language. So it was like the Quran inspired for grammar to be, um, you know, uh, you know, not discovered, uh, but detailed and codified as it was. Right. So this is actually a very beautiful example of this. Right. So these two ways, like I said, either it means woe, some have said no, it's not woe. Some have said like it's attributed to Al Khalil bin Ahmad that he said it's for tanaddum, right? which means remorse. And some others have responded against him and said no, it's wrong, it's not for tanaddum, there's no such thing as this. 
And like, what, like I said, if you want to read more about this, then you, the more advanced books of Arabic grammar and tafsirs actually talk about this in more detail. Nearly all tafsirs uh, which are which focus on grammar, al muhit uh, al muhit and Ruh al-Ma'ani, uh, they, they touch on this. Okay, so uh, now let's look at the translation. So, وَأَصْبَحَ أَصْبَحَ means became, right? Now, if you take it, the meaning of became, you're treating it as fi'al naqis. But if you take it with the meaning of uh, tam, then it was, you say it was, yeah, was, occurred, asbaha. Alladina, those who tamanno wished, yeah, makanahu, his place, wished for his place, basically. They wished to be in his place. Tamanno makanahu, they wished to be in his place, in the place of Qarun. Bil uh, Amsi yesterday. So if you, there's two ways you can translate this. You can either say they wished for his place yesterday. Tamanno makanahu bil Amsi yesterday they were wishing for his place, not today when they saw his house and everything that he owned was sucked into the ground. They didn't want it anymore. So yesterday they were wishing. So but if you take the other meaning, which is bil Amsi is muta'ali to makanahu, then it means tamanno. His, they wished for his place he had yesterday. Yeah, the ones who wished for the place that he had yesterday, not the place that he has today. The place that he has today, no one wants it. It's in the ground. But the place that he had yesterday, tamanno, they, they wished for this. Tamanno makana humilams. Okay. Yaquluna. So again, yaquluna, you either make it the khabar of asbaha. So those who wished for his place yesterday, became such that they they said this yaquluna saying wayka anna wow amazing ka'anna now we're going to take the ka i'm going to take the ka for meaning which is ta'li because wow because allah yabsutu allah spreads be amazed because Allah spreads rizq, sustenance. لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ For the one who يَشَاءُ wills He wills مِنْ ibadihi Of or from his servants وَيَقْدِرْ And restricts لَوْلَا If it was not if it was not that kindness of Allah, you know, Allah showed kindness. If it was not for the fact that Allah showed kindness, alayna upon us, present. So you see, it's a bit difficult to kind of like try and get it precisely into English. But the reason I'm breaking it down like this, so you can see the words and you can also see how I'm going to adjust it. So. You would say, Lola, if it was not for the kindness of Allah upon us existing, if it was not for the existence of the kindness of Allah, that's the kind of meaning that you, you get from it. La khasafa bina, he would have, then definitely, he would have vanished us with it. He would, he would, he would have vanished us, sorry, not with it, with us. He would have vanished us, like disappeared us into the ground. Way ka'anna, amazing, whoa, ka'anna, same thing as before, because uh, the fact that the matter is, the fact is, that's how you translate Dhamir al-Shan. The matter is, لا يفلح الكافرون. The disbelievers will not be successful. So not successful are the disbelievers. Okay, so how do we understand this then? So the way we're going to understand it is, what happened basically was that Qarun, he came out in all of his like you know, arrogance, showing off to the people that what he had. And then everything got sucked into the ground. And then when the people saw what's happened to him, all his palace and everything has sucked into the ground, right? This is what happened. So those people that were envious of him and wanted to be like him, like he was a celebrity, and they all wanted to be like him, they all start saying, you know, whoa, look at this. Indeed, Allah, he gives sustenance to who he wants and he, and he restricts it. So look what's happened to Qarun. Qarun was in a, such a powerful position. Allah gave him everything. And in one in, in one instance, like some of us didn't say it was overnight, all of a sudden taken off him. Lola Amanna, if it wasn't for Allah showing us kindness because we were arrogant and 
it wasn't for Allah's kindness, Allah would have sucked us into the ground ages ago. وَيْكَأَنَّهُ لَا يُفْلِحُ الْكَافِرُونَ Kafirons will never be successful. Even if they are rich and become famous and celebrities, they are going to fall. Right? So Allah, this is like you know, a statement that even they are uh, mentioning. Okay, anyway. Hope you guys benefit from this. Let's have a look at the... Um, so like I said, the translations as well have to be looked at as well. How you translate these, you know... Um, like I told you, the asbaha, either you make it tam or you make it naqis, each one. Asbaha alladheena makanahu. So uh, those who, who wished for his place yesterday became saying, like, began saying this, wake anna Allah. But if you take it to be tam, then it's asbaha. Uh, uh, the, the people who wished to be like him yesterday were, yeah, occurred, like, happened happened they they kind of like came into the morning asmaha can mean like that come into the morning so morning came and the people started saying yeah see the difference there they started saying so they they got up in the morning must have gone outside so that's that's what asbaha alladheena tamannaw makanahu bil ams means so that's a fail file and then yaqulun is their hal whilst saying all of this so that's the two differences in the translation and as for the other one that I mentioned about the uh, you know makanu bil amsi I explained that the two differences bil amsi goes back to tamanno or bil amsi goes back to makanahu right so that's also something which is and this min ibadihi hal is you know liman yashaf whoever he wishes uh, who are from his servants whilst they're from his servants in the hal okay anyway let's have a look at next verses then let me know if this uh, translation helps you guys try to make better sense of the quran okay so these are the next verses tilka darul akhiratu naj'aluha lilladhina la yuriduna uduwan fil ardi wa la fasada وَالْعَاقِبَةُ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ Zakum Lakhir guys for watching this video. Hit the like button if you benefited from my videos. Uh, share them with other people as well. Subscribe and uh, du'as inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakum Allah khair guys for all of your support. Without your support, I wouldn't have been able to produce the videos that I've put up on my YouTube channel. And there is so much more that I really want to do. And without the support of you guys who are patrons, generously supporting this channel, I've been able to get myself a camera, which as you guys can see, the quality of this camera, a mic system, software, I've been able to hire an editor. So what do I want to do? I want to make lots and lots and lots of more videos for beginners, for intermediate, advanced, in the subjects like Arabic and Fiqh and Hadith and Tafsir and Aqidah. And all those other things as well. And for Jazakum Allah Khair for watching this video. I hope to see all of you guys. If you guys are interested, please leave us feedback, get in contact with us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This to happen, again, this channel needs support. So if you guys want to become patrons and support this channel, then check out the link below. Also, if you do become patrons, you'll have access to videos that I don't put up on my normal YouTube channel. So check that out, inshallah. And there's most other perks as well that you guys can uh, benefit from. And if you want to um, access uh, this channel through social media, we've got Twitter, we've got Instagram, Facebook page, and other things as well that you can visit. So Jazakumullah khair again, guys. Thank you very much for your support. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.